It's been four years since we've seen Earth. And I have to admit, it's nothing like our secondary Earth, SE002121. Damn, I miss it. Our mission was simple. Guide the vaccinated people to SE002121. At first it seemed to work, but a DNA change took place in the people that were vaccinated. They were labeled as non-human due to that change of the DNA. There's only 12 states that didn't take the jab, and now they're called free states. There's more vaccinated than the non-vaccinated, and the sound of war is brewing. The New York Embassy was taken over by one of the two fascist groups, the Resistance Freedom Force or New Regime. Due to the lack of communication from the Embassy, we've set boots on the ground to restore communications. It's been three days. And nothing. Either way, our government has waited long enough. We secretly have assets closing in on targets that are beginning to wage war on the free states. I have 72 hours to reconstruct a new signed constitution and put the embassy back in play. I am Brigadier General Jessica Khan Silva, commander of Athena Anita Atkins 1028 battleship. We are only coming back to bring peace to humanity and to restore communications. our communications in order to keep our relationship with the embassy and all the others within the states. And maybe if we lose that connection, then we've lost our Earth as we know it. Look, what I'm about to say will probably not surprise you, but for the last century, Earth leaders have allowed extraterrestrial beings to cohabitate with humans due to the lack of our knowledge of not knowing what their intentions were. We didn't approve of them invading our atmosphere, so someone on Earth with some kind of new technology found a way to circumvent their way past our defense. We believe this signal was sent out years before the invasion. Two thirds of the population have taken the jab. Now they're being labeled as transhuman. What's left of the human genome will be hunted down and taken for exhibits or worse. The non-vaccinated have split up into 12 groups. They've labeled themselves as the 12 tribes of the New World Order. Intel suggested there's one leader that speaks for all the tribes. If we can contact this person, we may be able to stop a second civil war.
Some would say war is inevitable. Power, greed, and words are just some of the few things that can cause a man to give his life on the battleground. Throughout human history, we have fought countless wars, either to help or control the cause. And just like any battle, most of us are unsure if it's right or wrong. Don't think about it. The answer is no. I didn't say anything. I feel it, and you want to go. Listen to me. Ocean's gone dark, and it's been that way for over 72 hours. Something must have happened, or she would have checked. And your main job here is to calculate different waypoints and come up with different strategies to win. I don't need you out there, June. You're way more important here than you are out there. It's not rocket science, Lou. All we need is to make contact. That's it. Hey, I'm going to check the south side. I'll be back. <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? It doesn't matter. You're a dead man. Let me make this clear to you. I'm not here to kill your leader, or even destroy your clan. We need your help to overturn the other 12 states that are not willing to follow the rules. They have to have a seal of agreement to sell, or purchase. This is not a choice anymore. Either you're with us, or against us. What we've seen happen 10 hours ago. I can't imagine what is taking place right now. Lieutenant? Second Lieutenant Williams, your assignment is to give us as much coverage for Overwatch. We're going to drop Anita Aikens 1,000 feet below the hard deck, so we may be dangerously close to any SAMs in the area. Chief Warrant Officer Simmons, we're going to need to restore communications with the Embassy and our assets. We have to give them another way to contact us if they can't see us. Captain Takahashi, a QRS will be needed on standby. MARSOC-1 are already informed on the issue and will be prepared for immediate deployment. Is it possible we can deploy with MARSOC-1 to give them a secondary overwatch? We may need your coverage near Anita Aikens. Is there a concern on the LZ drop? No. My concern is the lack of intel we've acquired for the Situation Room. Okay. Before deployment, I'll have the area scanned and have AIs drop in before our boots hit the ground. Ma'am. Marines, it's been a while since we've been back. But let me make this clear. This is a retrieve and rebuild communications mission. Nothing else. We have boots on the ground and we need them home. I'm looking at the finest bridge commander gathered here today. Make me proud, Marines. And let's do what we came here to do. Ma'am. 
ma'am. Captain Harrington wants permission to assist us with the rescue operation on the bridge. Did he reach out to command for his request? I have no idea, but if you want, I can reach out to command and find out. No. Have command call me privately before you reply to his order. I know. You're clear. Don't make me regret this, Robert. Don't worry, I won't. Now, once you enter the bridge, you'll have to get close to the operation station to attach the IA Micro Mini. This will give us the signal to react and have control over the nuclear payload on the ship. What about the deployment? She'll have MARSOC-1 on deck along with a QRF. They'll have a heads up on a preempt launch way before those shells hit the ground. I'll have it all under control before they can figure it out. On another note, I hope the fling with you and her is over with. There's no fling. There's never been. That's what's not showing on your sleeve, Robert. That bitch has you whipped. Stay focused and don't fuck this up. Hey, Brass may have SEAL Team 10's position. There's been chatter on comms for the past 10 minutes. We should have visuals coming through soon. Good deal. Gather up the team. Meet up in five mics. Copy that. Discipline and spirit on the hallmarks of a Marine. Each of you can become a Marine if you develop discipline and spirit. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up for yourself. Starting now, you will treat all Marines with the highest level of respect, for we have earned our place as Marines and will accept nothing less than that from you. We will treat you as we do our fellow Marines with firmness, fairness, dignity, and compassion. A buffalo allows never quit or give up. For me or for you, the challenge of recruit training. The opportunity to earn the title. United States Marine. Hey guys, the radio chats are still coming through. We'll have video feed running up in a few. It doesn't sound shit. Most of the feed happens now. Shit. Shit. Who the fuck? Are those guys? Second Civil War and was given the Congregational Medal of Honor for reconnecting five states. His work on Earth 2 has been you know, Are there any other records from his Academy Day sealed? No, ma'am. All his records are for no. There has to be another record on him. Check again. Ma'am, throughout my data, there's nothing sealed on Captain Harrington. According to his instructors, he's been an honorable soldier from day one. What about fights? Has there been any incident involving Captain Harrington or the Academy? There's nothing. If there's anything outside of what I was programmed, command may have the answers you're looking for. Anita, front and center. I'm in. 312, right to the final bearing. 316, on glide path. On satellite. 312, you're on glide path. Left the course correcting very slowly. 312, you're on center line, battle sign. You're on center line, you're on center line. You're on center line, you're just a little high. Call the ball when you have to. 312, call the ball, battle sign. Battle sign. 312, we're going to have a little stuff here. We're going to give you a better catch.
The only thing we are asking for is permission to travel between the southern border of the land and meet with the people. We need to find out if they're submissive to your plan or ours. There's no need for conflict of any kind. Hmm. Your words sound genuine. It's almost like the words of your forefathers, but in a different tone and time. Hmm. This time, we are not naive. Our culture will not be erased. No more whitewashing and one race ruling the lands. We all govern ourselves and our land. We don't need it ruled by one. We are the protectors of each other. There is no leader here. No, I beg to differ. But here, you speak for them. Stand fast. My people appointed me to speak for them, not to rule them. They are all free to do whatever they want. My warriors, on the other hand, will follow my commands and will do so without prejudice. So don't push me, Steve. I do apologize if I defend you. I just want to build a different relationship with the people. I said no! Now leave! something perfectly clear. I am running the show here. And if for some reason you or any of your lackeys feel the need to pull rank, I will float you and them out of the nearest airlock I can find. You don't open your mouth to any of my staff unless you clear with me. And you don't talk to me unless I need your help, which I most likely won't. Your involvement on my bridge is to observe and calculate where SEAL Team 10 Beacon is. If you don't feel like I've, anything that I've said here applies to you, then Sergeant, fuck around if you want to. We'll be happy to escort you back to your quarters. I don't care what kind of treaty you signed with the custodian. They already eliminated three quarters of our world population. And you will expect me to bow down to their new pandemic? Fuck no! I don't want to have to remind you on who you're talking to. I put you in this position, you're holding. And I can remove you from it. Your job is to concur every objection I bring to the table. And in turn I grant you full access to any and every mission over that ice wall. Understand? If it wasn't for their failed attempt to vaccinate the whole entire human race, we wouldn't be here. Don't you understand that they've changed most of this surveillance DNA? They are dying. Those who aren't dead are transhumans now. Their immune system can't stop them from getting sick anymore. The old government failed us. They tried to trick them with a fake jab and poison the people who put them in power. They've lost the battle. I determined to win the war. 